Good, good, good to be back. First time in five months. Woo! Thank you. Just look at this entrance hub right here. It looks wonderful. This is recently installed. Uh, last time I was here, they still had that wall all the way out of here. So it is looking pretty good. Yeah, it's looking gorgeous. And they recently installed those pylons right there. That is going to be the brand new fountain that is reminiscent of the early days of Epcot. So you're gonna have to wait a few more months for the full thing to be open, but those things are massive. I'm six foot two and those things are easily 15 if yeah easily 15 feet high if not more but man those things look really cool and they're supposed to have flags along the sides over here so yeah check that out those things look gorgeous so one of the best things about being back here in Epcot which is my favorite park is when you enter the music that you hear is just so amazing it, it's just a good feeling to hear it again even though you can listen to it on YouTube in person it just has a different thing because you're hearing all the sounds going on uh, I'm about to head in the direction of the seas uh, and the land behind that wall right there that is where they are going to be building the Moana attraction the journey of water it's time to go into the land and go on Soren this version is good but the best version will always be Soren over California because well, that's the state I was born and raised in and the state that has my heart. But, you know, the world's pretty cool, too. The land. And better yet, air conditioning. So, the park opened maybe 10 minutes ago and it is relatively empty. And the queue for Soren, it said it was a 10 minute wait and I'm just walking straight in. They have the six feet markers on the ground, but I haven't had to stop yet. I'll probably have to stop at that checkpoint where they tell you which bay to go to. I'm really interested to see how they've implemented the plexiglass into the ride vehicles because I've seen pictures, but now I get to see it in person. So in the queue, they have plexiglass between all the rows. Hello. Welcome to Soren. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. Sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo Three y vigilen a los niños. Esperamos que disfruten. So Soren is definitely an experience to do, simply because the, the wait time is so short and. One thing I noticed, even with having a face covering on, I could still smell everything that was going on in that ride, whether it was when you're flying over Africa or you're going over the Polynesian Islands, you could smell all that and it smells incredible still. So don't let the mask th thing make you think you can't smell because you can't, the scent is that strong. But Inside of the land, they have controlled the way guests enter and exit. You enter on the right hand side and then if you want to go down, you have to go down that escalator. And when exiting, you have to go up the left side. Well, go up this side and then walk out this way. So very good control on Disney's part. The rule with what is going on in the world and, and masks, especially being in the parks, is uh, pace yourself. Don't try and rush things. You'll just overheat yourself. You have to just take it slow, drink some water, eat some food, and... Get some AC and some shade when you can. It's not a race. Uh, running is definitely not the the thing to do right now. But overall, the park is relatively quiet and it's only been open for an hour. I imagine the day will be like this. Epcot is so big that there really is plenty of room for everyone. So I'm here at World Showcase Lagoon and I noticed something that is missing. It is over here by the American Adventure. There used to be a ship right there behind the stage and it was a colonial ship and it is now gone. I'm wondering if maybe they took it down because it needed repairs. It was never in operation, but I'm wondering if it was taken down. Maybe it just needed some, some, some paint and primer or if they're gonna be using that area for staging the new Harmonious Fireworks show that will come sometime in hopefully the, new, the near future. 
other than that uh, World Showcase is very quiet. You see a few families here and there. The walkways at World Showcase are very, very large, giving you ample space to physically distance. I'm about to go into World Showcase because I want to see all the I want to see all the countries in there, and I want to see just how there are no cultural representatives there now. Because I know that some cultural representatives have lived here for years and have become U.S. citizens, but many of them they were here on an internship. Uh, or some kind of contract and now that they are gone due to the health crisis who is in there so I want to check that out and see what all is going on in each of these magnificent little countries that we have around World Showcase Lagoon. Something that is going on at Epcot that is very unique is the Taste of Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Uh, it's sort of an abridged version of the usual one that they have every fall but they still have locations over there. You have the Citrus Blossom, and then right there you have Hawaii. So we'll have to check out some of those locations. But what I do notice is they're giving a lot of love to Remy and the gang from Ratatouille. So I am about to eat uh, from one of the little food booths here. Uh, it's called Earth Eats. And what is interesting about it is that this is 100% vegan. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, try and implement that in my life a little bit more and this is a, an impossible burger slider it is right next to disney traders right before you enter mexico it's right over there and the menu looks actually pretty spectacular so i'm going to give this thing a bite i'll let you know how it is so it is pretty big the bun has sesame seeds on it very good but it's very chewy and delicious excuse me for talking while i eat but it has some, it looks like some slaw on there, some arugula. It's got some kind of sauce. It's overall very tasty. Um, highly recommend it. You can't even tell that it's not beef. I know that's one big thing like about these plant-based things, but it tastes amazing. So even try if you can. So as I leave Mexico, no Donald over there. And then the shop that was right here where you would have the Cobra de, de Mariachi they are sorry mariachi cobre that shop is completely closed and entering norway kringla the bakery is closed uh the fjording is open frozen ever after is currently at a 15 minute wait and there's a relaxation station i want to check out that first thank you so much richard wow it is cold and for your safety when you enter there's hand sanitizer and they have which tables you can and cannot use this used to be a uh, if you've ever been here before you know that usually the princesses are in here uh, and you're able to dine I've never actually been in here before so this is actually quite something to see but it is gorgeous a gorgeous building inside a relaxation station you have air conditioning you can sit back relax you can drink some water just enjoy the air conditioning uh, this is a great place where if you have little ones that the heat's getting to them you can come in just let them cool off for a little bit and just take in the scenery wait frozen ever after On Frozen Ever After, the wait was more like 10 minutes. The nearest people are six feet away. something interesting only cultural representatives are allowed to wear the costumes from that culture so for example here at, at China she is actually from China and is allowed to wear them same with all these cast members back here but say we go safety of everyone please wear an announcement at all times 
Except but what I've noticed when I was in Norway getting on Super Frozen After, the cast members, they had just on the normal sort of roller showcase outfit, like those ones back there. See, that's the normal costume. So while many may say, oh my gosh, these little crowds are, are the best thing that has happened to Disney in a long time, uh, I, on the other hand, disagree because I think it's quite sad because only a small sliver of people can actually come to the parks because of the, the pandemic going on. And the, the large crowds and the cultural representatives that call Epcot home, that's what makes Epcot, Epcot truly. Usually you'd have, you know, a performer right here entertaining crowds of 50 to 100 people. You'd have people lining up to go into Vianopoli. You'd have people lining up for a show and it's just, it's, it's just not, not the same. And I, I miss the old Epcot and I hope it comes back sometime real soon. So something that is new and unique to Epcot is uh, over in Mexico, I said how uh, the Mariachi Band Cobre is not there. Well, they're actually over here at the American Gardens Theater doing shows along with the Jammeters. If you see them, they are just going in there to get ready for their show. And they are socially distancing everything because they have every other row closed and then they have the seats marking where you can where you can sit or you cannot sit but there's plenty of room and this location honestly looks amazing because you have a light breeze you have a lot of shade but there is some entertainment here and mariachi cobre is one of the best things that Epcot has because they're just so full of life they're so vibrant and they're just fun to watch so as you might have heard on the show a few weeks ago the tangerine cafe is closed right now sad to see one of the best locations here in the kingdom of Morocco one of the most beautiful locations here but as you can see cultural representatives actually wearing the culturally appropriate costumes Great to see the cultural representation where there, it, where there can be. So the storm has passed and it appears that there's even less people than there was before. England is relatively quiet, or sorry, the United Kingdom Pavilion is relatively quiet. The Rosen Crown is still open. That was a very tight squeeze before, so I imagine social distancing is put in place to the max. You can only fit maybe five to 10 people in their tops. Oh yeah, little station like that. Hi friends. But that's a nice place to get a nice cold pint of Guinness if that is your drink of choice. This location is seriously awesome. The, the music, the atmosphere, it's a fun place to relax, cool down, eat some good food. Got some, some mac and cheese, uh, cheese and charcuterie board. And like you even have a customer wiping down a table. Disney's definitely trying to keep this place clean and safe. It's a pirate's life for me. All right, my friends, we're at my favorite location in all of Epcot, and it is back behind the Canada Pavilion right here. I love it just because this waterfall is so relaxing and tranquil, and it's honestly one of Imagineering's best creations. It shows the, the natural beauty of Canada, uh, but unfortunately you can't swim in there, but it is just a nice little area. It's a hidden gem. It's a hidden gem. And the Gardens of the Galaxy uh, attraction is still being worked on. It seems like they are installing panels for where solar panels will go, but this area is still all closed off and you got mission space over there. And then on the former festival building, looks like they're putting on new tiles and just tidying it up. So this whole area will be very exciting when it is done in the unknown future. But overall, it's, it's exciting to see what is coming in the future. Something to look forward to when times can seem somewhat bleak. All right, folks. For the health I... and safety of everyone, 
Please wear a face covering at all times, except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, and maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. To all who come to this happy place, welcome.